Interns, mentors, and nerds of all ilk. I just want to welcome you all to the first annual World Series of Hack. I know all of you have that exact same spirit. You are driven to create and make incredible things. And that's kind of what tonight's about. Our interns asked about doing a hacking session and we just decided that it would be more fun to actually open it up and invite different companies who are interested in collaborating with us. We have a lot of interns from the really well-known ones to the small startups that are doing really awesome stuff in the communities. The spirit is all in here. It feels like we're building the web with the future. I love the vibe. I love how everybody's trying to create something, something new, and I really like the hacker atmosphere. It's very, very cool. Given how late it is and that it's Friday night, it's pretty amazing. I mean, people are, everyone's going crazy here, right? They're doing stuff. It's cool. And everyone has their heads down and really focused at this point. Over 300 people who sign up, the turnaround is closer to like 200 students, and this is actually what we wanted. I wouldn't be surprised some startups emerge out of this. Me and my three friends are building an app that analyzes your Facebook graph data and splits your friends into sub-communities. I'm working on something that'll work work as an editor for people who want to add microdata to their websites. We're doing an interactive dodgeball. I think there's nothing more important in open source and open technology than playing with technology. People should be working together, and here they do. I think the setup's fantastic. I was really impressed. We're working with Now.js, and my uh, partner over there is talking with the Now.js library writers right now, so I think that's really sweet. The first presentation is local chat. How this is going to work? There are four categories that judges will be judging you on, and those are technology, originality, aesthetics, and practicality. And we built a location-based chat. We're reading an audio file into the game in real time. We're analyzing it for beats per minute using JavaScript, and we're using this info to create a fun little rhythm-based game. The goal of the game is basically to do what we just did, which is survive 12 straight hours of coding. We built a Firefox add-on that allows users to get information about their productivity on the web. I know how to turn a cube, and I can turn this virtual cube exactly the same way because my muscle memory is just used to it. All right, you ready to go? Pigeon Carrier! We created Pigeon Carrier, which is a Google Chrome extension in order to add attachments to Twitter. But this event represents what is so awesome about Mozilla and about the Silicon Valley community. The whole idea is to make this event as open as possible. We encourage innovation, um, not just amongst our own inner community of Mozillians, but in the whole area. I think it's a tremendously important kind of event for the the future of the internet, the future of open source. We're really excited about the energy here, and I think that that's the kind of thing that these folks are going to take back into their workplace, back into their schools. They're going to talk about this kind of event for years to come.